story you'll only see here on Local 10, a homeowner getting an urgent message that her home was being burglarized. So she brought up her home surveillance cameras on her cell phone and she watched it in horror. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margol is live to tell us what happened next. Ian. Lori, that break in happened just a couple of days ago, Monday morning. This neighborhood now, everyone here is on edge, absolutely terrified by this. And the woman who actually lives in the home that was broken into tells me she hasn't even been able to sleep since it happened. It's like an invasion. I have two little kids and he went into my daughter's room. He climbed through my daughter's window. He pushed her dresser over on her bed and went in through her room. On Monday morning, Michelle Miller Hale was stunned to find this on her surveillance cameras inside of her Cooper City home. A man running out of her bedroom, holding a handful of her things, frantically looking for a way out as the alarm blared inside. He apparently tried to cut the wires so that the alarm would be disconnected, not knowing that I had changed it to wireless a few years ago for that same reason. The man eventually made it out the side door and a neighbor's surveillance camera caught what they believe was the car he drove off in. Moments later, you can see BSO entering the home, but at that point, the crook is long gone. It's hard. It's hard knowing somebody invaded your privacy like that and that me and my kids could have been home. Michelle tells us part of the problem may be this wall behind her home. She says there used to be a taller privacy fence, but now anyone can see straight from the shopping center next door into her backyard. Ever since the break in, the neighborhood has been on pins and needles, keeping an eye on each other's property so it doesn't happen again. My neighbors have been there for me and we have all we're a good community. We're we're all watching each other's back. And so the next time he come, he might not be so lucky to get out. And just to give you an idea of just how nervous the people that live here are, we've been here all day, but normally we drive around in our big local 10 live trucks with the big local 10 logos. Well, we don't have that today here in this neighborhood. And I actually had the police called on me because I was just hanging around in this area for too long and it made someone nervous. These people are really hoping for help. In fact, police are asking if you know anything about this case, if you know who this man is, anything that will lead them to him, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. Live in Cooper City, Ian Margul, Local 10 News.